My research over the last several years has been dealing with the impacts that aviation has on uh, surface climate, uh, the climate near the ground where people live, and uh, in particular how uh, the clouds, the false clouds that planes produce, so-called contrails, um, affect the energy coming in from the sun and the heat that goes out from the Earth's surface. And that those two things together give us the, the surface temperature. The se September 11th study on contrails and their effects on surface temperature um, was actually something that grew out of some earlier work that I had done uh, that actually started back in the 1980s, in the mid-1980s. Um, when I was uh, at Indiana University in, uh, in Bloomington. And I noticed that quite often in central Indiana, there would be, uh, the skies would be covered with contrail uh, clouds. And uh, that actually started my, uh, my research. The September 11th study was really a, an outgrowth of that. So our reason for looking at uh, the September 11th to September 14th period was, of course, because it followed the, uh, the terrorist attacks in um, Washington, D.C. and uh, New York City. The response to that by the FAA was to uh, ground all commercial aviation. So for essentially a 72-hour period, uh, there, were no com there was no commercial aviation in U.S. airspace. So the most recent study I've been involved in with, uh, with contrails was to uh, look to see if on a longer term basis, if we see an impact of contrails on the surface daily temperature uh, range. And so what we did is we looked at um, areas where we do get a lot of contrails, the southeast and the midwest, and looked at um, uh, pairs of stations, of, of weather stations, which are uh, most frequently underneath contrails versus stations which tend not to have many contrails occurring over them. And consistently we find that the, um, the diurnal or the daily temperature range is reduced under areas where you have a lot of contrails, uh, but is larger. In other words, the daytime high is higher and the overnight low is lower in areas that don't see many contrails. So this study really supports what we found for the shorter term, that 72-hour period for the 9-11 study.